Now, the first thing I want to talk about is this uh, Korg electronic tuner. Now, you can use whatever device that you like, but we recommend not using a tuning fork. This is way more accurate. It's not affected by temperature, number one, but you don't need a third hand to operate it. Turn it on, set it to the desired pitch, 440, 441, 442. In the case of the exam, you'll want it to set, you want to set it at 440. And then turn the tone feature on because when taking the, the exam, you cannot use a visual aid, only an uh, oral aid. So we're going to set the pitch. Now, the second thing you need to understand about this and why it's such a good tool to use is that this is a harmonic tone. That is, when you set it to 440, you'll hear the fundamental 440 beat at 440. You'll hear the second partial beat at exactly 880. And the third partial will beat at 1360. Now, a piano string is inharmonic, which means if we set the pitch of A4 to 440, the second partial of A4 will be more than 880, 880 plus. For example, for the sake of discussion, let's just say 881. The third partial, which is E6, will be at uh, Instead of 1360, let's say 1363, 1364. Therefore, we want to set A4 so that the third partial of A4 on the piano will be three or four seconds sharp above zero to the tone of the chromatic tuner. So we're going to demonstrate that. But now look at the keyboard here. We have A4, first partial, A5, second partial. The third partial of A4 is E6. So when we tune A4, we actually want to focus our ears on the pitch at E6. Now, if you listen very carefully to this tone, you can hear the pitch of E6. Let's listen again. Try to hear that pitch inside of A4. Here we go. Now, if you don't hear it, not to worry, practice it. You will be able to hear it. So let me turn on the uh, chromatic tuner. Uh, I make sure that it's set at uh, 440, and then we'll turn the tone on. We'll set this down. I wanted to say one other thing. I have this piano tuned, or I should say, detuned like you would find it if you take the PTG tuning exam. Uh, essentially, every other note is sharp, every other note is flat. But now listen to the uh, temperament, F to F. Let's listen to the thirds going down the scale. Sounds pretty good, but now let's listen to the fifths. Way out of tune. Way out of tune, and we'll listen to the fourths. And let's listen to the octaves above the temperament. Not bad, but the idea is it's uh, uh, systematically put out of tune so as to keep the tension on the scale even. All right, let's go back to the tone. We have this set to 440. We're going to turn the tone on. And remember, <clears throat> as I tune A4, we're listening for this pitch. 
and we want to hear it beat three to four beats above zero. Now all I hear there is a very slight roll. But let's see if I can get rid of that roll. Got rid of the roll, now we're up above zero. Listen here, okay? You hear it beat? I think that's a little bit fast. Okay, there we have it. Let's listen one more time so you can get an idea of the beat rate. Maybe that's a little bit fast, but you know what? Let's just take a listen and see. I turned the tone off. Now the chromatic tuner is, uh, shows the needle, and let's play A. Right on pitch, exactly where it should be. So now the idea when you take this exam, you want to be, you have up to five minutes to set the pitch. But I must say, you should be able to do this in 30 seconds or even less, certainly no more than a minute. So in preparing for this exam, practice so that you can do this exam in under a minute, ideally in 30 seconds, because under the pressure of the exam, you might take up to a minute. And, and that's okay. You can take up to five minutes. But the idea is to save that time because you see you have 45 minutes to take the first part of the exam. Five of those 45 minutes can be used to set the pitch. So if we only use 30 seconds, we have 44 minutes, 30 seconds to tune the rest of the piano and that would be ideal.